What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is okay. And I'm back here with another pickup video. Um, sorry it's been a while. Between work and taxes, it's sort of... Yeah, I, I get confused with what I've have shown and haven't shown. So some of these games I'm going to show I might have shown in previous videos. I'm going to have them apologise now for them. And to be honest, I, I look quite dark in this video. It's it's a new phone, so I'm using it's a different type of camera. So it's yeah. Um, and I've got one, two, three, four, five different platforms. Uh, one of them are one of the platforms or one game for which I will show you in a bit, which I'm recollecting for. Uh. And that is a PlayStation Vita. People who know me personally know what happened to my old collection. Um, I was not going to go into it's a long story, but my old collection, I had a decent. A whole. For someone, for someone like myself on a budget, it was a decent collection. It was a decent collection. I had two games of sealed, I had about four or five, probably more, imports, Japanese imports. I had a half decent. I did like some of the budget half decent collection, so I'm, re I'm, I'm redoing that. Um, yeah. Uh, so the first two games I'm gonna show you, I don't remember if I showed in the previous video, but I'm gonna do them just in case. And then for the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance, that's metal. Think this camera, metal of the Advance. Uh, you know what and evil traitor. Um, pick, I'm picking, I'm picking both up because obviously I'm a big Middle of Honor fan. Uh, they're not exactly the best Middle of Honor games. Um, they I think compared to the PSP ones, like, the handheld compared to the PSP ones, like, they're not that good. Which I think the PSP ones actually. Yeah, I've got the PSP ones. Uh, yeah, I've got the PSP ones, so yeah. Uh, but obviously, for me, he likes me another one. It's worth having in the collection. Um, so yeah, um, next time I'm going to show you is the Vita game, which it was a game that I nip, which started off my original Vita collection, and so now the Vita start off this new collection that is Tearaway. I played Tearaway the year the EGX before when they were showing off the Vita. Tearaway was there. Tearaway was a game. I was there. I tried the Vita there and all. I really enjoyed the console. Like, but it's it's one thing to have a decent console or handheld, but you need games. You need at least. And I think I personally need at least five games personally at least to hook you onto the system. The Tearaway was the first game that hooked me on the Vita. So that's a special place. So that hooked me on there. Um, the Vita version of Child of Light that hooked me. The Vita version of Hotline Miami that hooked me. So there are games perfect on there. I uh, always got a place in my heart. That's what I played first two seasons of The Walking Dead for the first time. I think I've done Wolf Among Us on there. So it's got a, it's, the Vita has got a special place in my heart as a gamer and a collector. The Vita, I've, I've always said, for a game point of view, it's fantastic because I game there are fantastic games on the Vita. But from a collector's point of view, it's perfect because if you like, if you're a big collection, it's perfect because it, you can you can have a, in my case it'd be an English Vita, but you can have a Japanese version of Final Fantasy works perfectly fine. A French version of Final Fantasy works perfectly fine. The English version perfectly fine. So you can have about two or three times one game works perfectly fine. So that's perfect. And because they're 
as you notice, they're not, they're not big cases. So that you can have a lot of games, but not take as much room as most other games. So it's perfect. So yeah, I got that. Uh, okay, on the pickups. <laughs> Next lot of games I'll show you are... When there's games, people know me, my own big NES at the moment. Hello. Um, got two boxed, five loose. It would have been one box, six loose. By upgrade, obviously, people know me. I know I go to my local sort of retro hunter and I've done a trade with him for a box version. But I'll do, I'll do the loose ones first. Um, some of these games, some of these games are but four of these games I picked up from EGX has done. One of them is the is the, the box one well, it is one of the games, but I should get to that. I'll, t I'll tell you what ones I've picked up from EGX. Um kind of Paperboy. Um I personally not played Paperboy but people tell me it's a good game. So I picked it up. Uh Techno World Wrestling. Picked it up recently. <coughs> Paperboy know me. Now I love the wrestling and it's is I'll try and put up as many wrestling games as I can. For my sake, I'm a big wrestling fan. Talking about wrestling. Pro wrestling. This is an EGX pickup. Um uh, it's okay. Nothing special. It's a, yeah, it's okay. Uh Solar Man, it's an EGX pickup. Don't know a lot about this game. Um Hunter, the Golden Warship. Right. Oh yeah, I don't know a lot about it personally. Um, so my picture after was it's it's what is what's on me. I'll do it go. Um, next game is George Foreman's KO Boxing. Uh, yeah, don't know a lot about this. Obviously, I think if it's the same as Mike Tyson's knockout. Yes, boxing. Uh, two box games. I'll show, this I'll show you the upgraded game. Also picked up from EGX. It's that time. But when I pick, when I sort of upgraded it, when I upgraded, I was like, I'm having, I'm having like it says there's no menu. It's fine. Uh, but he says yeah, two versions. This one, which if you look here, says Mattel. Yeah, this version on without Mattel. Now, from what he told me, obviously, because he owns a virtual store, he would know more than I would. Uh, apparently, the Mattel version of Duck Hunt is apparently slightly rarer than the normal version. Apparently. But it was like. Get out the fucking sleeve. But he's like, uh, he's like, he, he opened it up and oh, I, I, I checked the cartridge to see if it's a matching material one. And right at the bottom, you might not be able to see it. Mattel. So it's a, it's a matching cartridge with box. And it's, yeah, apparently the Mattel version of Duck Hunt is apparently slightly rarer. Than the normal version, so I was happy to have that in the collection. The other box game is recent pick up. I personally, I've, I've seen a little bits of the game like this, not a lot. Um, when I was trying to register hunt this game, so I did pick it up from him and picked some CX. It was like, I've never, had, I don't, I've never actually had a copy in. I was like, to me, it was a little sign that it's. Either it's, well I say that, it's either, it's either that bad, it didn't sell a lot, or is that good and no one wants to sell a hobby. But that is Dragon's Lair. Um, I've seen some gameplay of this, but not a lot. Um, it's, uh, what I've seen is a good game. Uh, but it's, when you look at games, <laughs> sometimes they look better than they, when you, than, on video than you have to do in the play. Uh, but it's, 
it's worth having the Fletcher 12 quid for a box game. You can't go wrong. The next three games I'm going to show you are... PS3 games. Again, don't remember showing the last one, but I'm not doing this one. That's Untold Legends on PSP. And both Juice games. Um, Juice who I've played on before, but on the consoles. Eliminate, I've not played. Untold Legends, I don't know fuck all about. It was a pound I picked up, so I thought, fuck it, filler. PSP games, you can't really rule if I'm going wrong. Well, I've got the fix for you. Next, last six games are all Xbox One games. Uh, yeah. They are Batman, Heart of Night. Right there. Dying Light. I've not played this, but this is meant to be. Dying Light is meant to be the game that Dead, Dead Island should have been. Um, Dead Island was a good, good game in the sense that the premise was good. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. It was, I wanted to like it, but I, I couldn't, to be honest. Um, Prey, not played this. Um, I'm currently in the process of installing it to start playing it. Uh, people hype, were kind of hyped for it before it came out. Dean here fucked when it came out, so I'm not 100% sure if it's any good. Probably is, probably isn't. I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, Metal Gear, so I did the Phantom Pain, the last uh, good game, obviously. My last good Metal Gear game. I picked this up A to the dot. Fuck, you call it. Ground Zeroes. But I think it's up main was Quiet. Is it about all quiet? The one that was. Bra. Her. Titties. Can't go wrong with games and tits. Let's put it out there. Next one I picked up is Bournemouth Line 2 The New Colossus. Picked this up because I played the previous two Bournemouth Lines. I fucking loved them. Uh. Can't, yeah. And it, from what I've been told, that is going to be fantastic. Um, but, I'm not, but if you're doing that last two, I'll oh, fuck you, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And the last one I'm going to show you. I'm glad it's my collection. Strange Brigades. I played Strange Brigades at last year's EGX. And. Last year's EGX. And I was sort of, uh, a bit red at the end of the year. And. Uh, I. I'm an advocate for this game. I love this game. It's I enjoy it so much that I beat the dev times at last year's EGX. If you can bollocks, Bill, you are a fucking lying cunt. Am I? Look at the coin you get with defeat the dev time. Suck on that, you wankers. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, really I love Strange Day. It's it for me personally, a day it's a game to have something about it for me to pick it up new. I rarely pick up new games. Like I mean when I say new games I mean A seals like sort of thing and B within two months of it being released. Stop to have something about it for me to buy it. And if you don't know much about Strange Dead, I'm, I'm not going to sort of go too much about it. But it's basically, if you like, like the whole of Gears of War and sort of solving puzzles and zombies and all sorts of mummies and things like that, you love it. Because you get the whole mode and basically that in a tutorial. It's a good game if you're a group of group people. So yeah, they're the games I picked up recently. Um, I'd like to know what you picked up recently. Your highlights. Uh, what games you're hoping to pick up in the near future. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I'm glad you, um, if, if, if anyone's watching this, I'm fucking glad you're watching it, to be honest. Um, it's from, yeah. I hope you're watching, I hope you enjoy, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe, and I hope you're patient for my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.